Joining us now live from Kyiv, Mikhailo Samus, the director of the new Geopolitics Research Network. Good afternoon to you. Thank you for joining us on the program today. I want to talk to you about the Ukrainian counteroffensive still making major gains, so much so that the Russians have actually stopped sending in new units to Ukraine. So talk to us about the new Ukrainian battle strategy and also about the Russian retreat. The main here is to uh, understand that Ukraine now gaining not only territories, but strategic initiative on, on the battle. I will say that if we're talking about the strategic operation by Ukrainians, it's not only Kharkiv Oblast on the north and east, but of course it's uh, uh, southern uh, Kherson Oblast where Ukrainian forces continue our counteroffensive operation in the same temple. Uh, but uh, because uh, Russians put on the Kherson Platzdarm about 20,000 troops, it's not so fast, but I'm sure it will be the same successful. So now the problem for Russians, how to react on the strategic initiative of Ukrainian force, because Russian commands now, general staff, they cannot guess, they cannot know uh, where will be the next attack by uh, Ukrainian forces. And this is the main promise for Russians because they don't have enough reserves to uh, put on the any directions on, on Ukrainian front. Well, Ukrainian authorities are also saying they're capturing so many Russian prisoners of war from the soldiers that are retreating from occupied territories in the northeastern regions that they're actually running out of space to put them. So what do we see? What do you anticipate happening now that the Ukrainians um, are gaining this speed and the Russians retreating and capturing all of these prisoners of war? What can we anticipate to happen with them? Yeah, uh, I would say that, uh, I repeat, just Ukrainian forces, Ukrainian commanders, they, they gain strategic initiative. And maybe you remember, like, uh, a couple of weeks ago, everybody expected the uh, counteroffensive operation on Kherson Oblast, where I told that 20,000 Russians, they actually in, uh, located now in the trap on the, on the western bank of Dnipro, and they actually don't have any chances to avoid to be killed or to be prisoners of war. So in next weeks, we'll see another thousands of Russian prisoners of war or killed soldiers. So uh, I would say that for Russian commander, Russian general staff, now it's a huge problem how to avoid strategic defeat, because if we talk in the current situation, of course, Ukrainian forces got operational defeat of Russians, but still Russia has a lot of armor vehicles, they have a lot of tanks, they have a lot of missiles which we could affect on Ukrainian civilian infrastructure and uh, that's why uh, it's still very dangerous for Ukrainian uh, people and Ukrainian nation. And very quickly, municipal deputies from 18 different districts inside Moscow and St. Petersburg signing public statements demanding that Vladimir Putin resign, saying that his actions harm the future for Russian citizens. Can we expect anything, knowing how the Kremlin reacts to its critics, can we expect anything to happen to these individuals? Or can we also expect a revolt from the Russian people, seeing now that their special military operation, this invasion of Ukraine, is failing? Unfortunately, we, we have a, a, a now a, a war with dic classical dictatorship. And I, I cannot believe, unfortunately, in some uh, revolution, a democratic revolution or protests by uh, Russian people. And all of these processes we see with some, you know, member of uh, local uh, authorities or uh, even even uh, state Duma. I think it's some like games of FSB could be to trying to locate the some protesters. But I'm sure that in, in, in elites, in Russian elites, already is continuing process how to avoid the, the uh, national catastrophical situation because they, of course, understand that Putin regime now is going to be uh, defeated. And uh, of course, in this situation, not in Russian, not all of in Russian elites is, are ready to be, uh, to, to, to support Putin in his uh, next uh, defeat. So I think that we will see in uh, next days, next weeks, next months, 
more and more uh, signals from from uh, elites that they are ready to negotiate with West. But I'm sure that the main thing that Ukrainian armed forces will have more and more successful battles on the battlefield. Mihailo Sam was the director from the new Geopolitics Research Network joining us live from Kyiv this afternoon. Thank you. Thank you.